Hi kids, welcome back to our science lesson. Unit 5, Plants. Today, we are going to learn about basic needs for a plant's growth. Before we start, let us look at the content standard, learning standard, and learning objective for this lesson. Content standard 5.1 Growth of Plants Learning Standard 5.1.5 Conclude the basic needs for a plant's growth by carrying out investigations. Learning objective for this lesson By the end of the lesson, pupils will be able to list the basic needs for a plant's growth. For this topic, we have to do investigations, but for today's lesson, we are not going to do the investigation because of some constraints. Teacher will teach you the investigation theoretically. Now, look at these pictures. On your left, is picture one. In picture one, there are three young okra plants. And in picture two, look at picture two on your right. In picture two, there are mature okra plant. Now, answer this question. What are the needs that okra plant require in order to grow healthily as in picture 2. Think, later we will come back to this question. Now, teacher will read. You have to listen. Plants require the basic needs for growth. Plants will wither and die if any basic need is lacking. Listen to this conversation. Why has this plant wilted? Maybe it lacks some basic needs. Let's investigate. This is the investigation in your textbook, page 56 and 57. The title for this investigation is Investigate the Basic Needs of Plants Apparatus and Materials Water Box Clear Plastic Bag Sand type and size of plants. Label A, B, C, and D. Steps 1. Place all plants label A, B, C, and D outside the classroom. 2. Water all plants except plant A. 3. Tie a clear plastic bag over plant C. 4. Put plant D inside a box. 5. Observe the condition of the plants after 2 weeks. Record your observation in the table as shown below. We are not going to do this investigation. Teacher will show you and teach you the investigation. Now, look at plan A. Plan A does not get water, but plan A get air and sunlight. What will happen to plan A after two weeks? Plan A, die. Look at Plan B. Plan B, get water, air, 
and sunlight. What will happen to plant B after two weeks? Plant B still alive. Look at plant C. Plant C get water and sunlight, but plant C does not get air. Plant C is covered with plastic. What will happen to plant C after two weeks? Plant C will die. Look at plant D. Plant D get water and air but does not get sunlight. Plant D is covered with a box. What will happen to plant D after two weeks? Plant D will die. Now, this is our observation for plant A. Plant A gets sunlight and air but does not get water. So, observation after two weeks, plant A will die. And then, look at plant B. Plant B gets sunlight water and air. Observation after two weeks, plan B alive. Look at plan C. Plan C get sunlight and water but does not get air. Observation after two weeks, plan C die. Look at plan D. Plant D get water and air but does not get sunlight. Observation after two weeks, plant D die. So, conclusion for this investigation is the growth of plant B is the best because it has sufficient basic needs such such as sunlight, water, and air. Now, let us proceed to second investigation. In this investigation, we will investigate nutrient requirements of plants, apparatus and materials, fertilizer, two plants of the same size and type. Steps First, place plants A and B outside the classroom. Water the plants every day. Second, pour liquid fertilizer into pot A. Third, observe the condition of the plants after two weeks. Record your observation in the table as shown below. Now, look at plant A. Plant A get water, air, sunlight and fertilizer. What will happen to plant A after two weeks? Plant A is still alive and more healthier. Look at plant A. It become bigger. Now, look at plant B. Plant B gets water, air and sunlight but does not get fertilizer. What will happen to plant B after two weeks? Plant B is still alive but not as healthy as plant A. Now, let us fill this table, the observation table. 
plant A get nutrient and our observation is plant A still alive and healthier. Plant B does not get nutrient and our observation is plant B still alive. So for conclusion for this investigation is the growth of plant B is better because it gets nutrient. So this is the conclusion for the two investigations that teacher show you just now. Water, air and sunlight are basic needs of plants to grow. Nutrients help plants to grow and stay healthy. Without nutrient, plants still alive. Okay, this is the basic needs for plants to grow. There are three basic needs for plants to grow. They are water, air, and sunlight. Plants also need nutrients to grow healthier. Now, can you answer this question? The first question teacher asks you. What are the needs that okra plant require in order to grow healthily as in picture 2? What is your answer? Remember the basic needs of plant. There are three basic needs of plant. So, this okra plant require all the basic needs. What are they? There are water, air, and sunlight. And this okra plant also need nutrient such as fertilizer to grow healthily as in picture 2. I hope you understand our lesson today. Your task for today is do exercise in your science activity book page 35. This is your activity book page 35. Before begin, please write date today. Observing the basic needs of a plant, apparatus and materials, plants A and B of the same type and N size, water. Steps, place plant A and B outside the classroom. Water plant A every day. This is plan A, this is plan B. And then, this is plan A and plan B after 7 day. Number 2. Complete the table with your observation on the number of leaves after 7 days. This is the table. You have to complete the table. Okay, plan A, plan, plan A, water. Number of leaf, first day, four. And then on the seventh day, seventh day. How many leaf on the seventh day? For plant A, you have to count and you have to write the number here. Look at plant B. Plant B not watered. On the first day, there are four leaves on the plant B. 
on the seventh day, how many leave for plant B? Now you count and write the number here. Questions number one Which plant grows better? Why? Plant what A or B? Because why you have to give reason for your answer. Look at number two. Complete the statement below. What, what, and what are basic are the basic needs for a plant's growth? Remember the three basic needs for a plant's growth. You have to write here. I hope you can do it. That's all for our lesson today. Thank you. Bye.